disassembly of the Platinum 3776 with music nib is not as difficult as it may at first seem. Uncap the pen, unscrew the barrel and take out the converter. The converter can be disassembled. To do this in the easiest manner possible, make sure the piston is about halfway through. Then grab the ink reservoir and this gold metal bit and quite simply unscrew the metal bit. It comes off completely as does the piston turning knob, the piston and the little ring that will keep the piston aligned well inside the ink reservoir. If so desired, put a little bit of silicon grease on the actual seal as well as on the threads of the piston. When you are satisfied, put the thing back together, first put in the piston, then take that little ring, put that on there, put the screwing knob back in place, and then screw the metal bit back in place. It makes sense to put a little bit of silicon grease on the threads there to create an extra seal. Everything should then be operating smoothly again. Now, the nib and feed are in here completely tightly and that can make it a little bit difficult to remove, especially the first time. Therefore, I recommend using a bit of grippy material like this to give you a good, decent grip. For normal cleaning, it should not be necessary to remove the nib and feed, so if this sounds like it's too much trouble, it's probably best not to bother at all. However, if you like living on the edge, grab your section like this with your grippy material. Maybe turn it around just a little bit like this so that you can put the nib in the crook of your finger like there. Wrap the grippy material around the nib and feed. Grab the nib and feed tightly and pull them out straight like this. Do not twist or wriggle around. That may actually damage the feed. As you can see, there's this fairly delicate bit right there and you want to make sure you don't break that off. Nor do you want to break off this bit, which is open up a little bit and therefore a nice breaking point. Pull them out straight, do not twist and don't wriggle it around. Then you should be fine. You got your nib and feed you can clean out. Once you've done that, you want to put it back together. Roughly align the nib and feed like this. This seems to be a good position. While the nib and feed are roughly aligned in such a manner that the shoulders of the nib align with the final line on the feed, as you can see here. It really won't matter if you go back a micrometer either way. This clearly would not be good alignment as your feed would hit the paper as you write. Nor would this be good alignment because then the ink cannot travel up all the way to the nib. Oh, and just to answer a question that we got from a lot of viewers, as you can see, this is a music nib with three tines. And actually, the feed does have two ink channels. Once you're ready to put it back together, grab the nib and feed and put them in, being aware that there is a little space spared out that is a little bit wider. You can see it right there, it gets wider on that point and it's a little narrower on that point. You see a little ridge right there. The ridge part is where the feed goes, obviously, and the wider part is where the nib goes. So you put them in like this and it should be an easy fit. If it's very hard to get in, you haven't aligned the nib and feed correctly for the section. In such a manner, it can be good to just twist this around a bit until you find something that fits, then slide the nib and feed in in one smooth motion. Make sure everything is aligned properly, which is especially important for the music nib having the feed having two channels and the nib having three tines. Once you are satisfied there, put the converter back in place, screw the barrel back in place, cap the pen, sit back and have yourself some haggis. You've earned it.